Hey guys, it's Becky with Design Bundles and today I am super excited to talk to you about the new Cricut Foil Transfer Kit. Now, I was lucky enough to snag one of these online even though they were sold out in stores. That's all right, no hard feelings guys, but uh, I was really, really excited to try it out. And today I'm going to show you my kit and then I'm going to walk you through setting up and completing my first foil transfer. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's talk about first setting up the file that we are going to use for this um, foil project with our Cricut, okay? I'm gonna go to upload because it was very important that I found a design that was a single line design and would look good. So I found this tree truck here and it works great because I'm getting ready for Christmas anyway. So I'm going to let that import. Sometimes it takes a minute, uh, you know, because it's uh, such a detailed file. Okay, now that I have my file here, I am also going to create a couple boxes. So I'm going to go to shapes and I'm going to draw a square. Now my first square is going to be 12 by 12 and I am going to fill it with white and I am going to send it to the back. There we go. Now let's go ahead and zoom out just a little bit so we can see the full picture. Now you may be asking, what in the world did you draw that for? Well, because the frame that I'm using today is a 12 by 12 frame. So I'm going to draw another square because the foil that I'm working with today is only 4 by 6. So there are a couple things that I need to do. Um, on this one, I'm going to go ahead and unlock my aspect ratio, and I'm going to say 4, well... We'll switch that around six by four and I'm going to do that twice okay and one of them is going to represent what I'm the foil I'm going to use for the truck and the other one I'm going to represent the foil um, size that I'm going to use for the tree so what I'll do is I'll bring the tree truck over and I will bring it to the front and now I just know that my design can't be larger than my six inch piece of foil so let's see, we will do 5.75. And the reason that I drew these boxes was just to make sure that neither part would end up bigger than my piece of foil. Okay, so we don't actually need those going forward, so we can move those along. Now, I do want to go ahead and center this design because obviously you're saying, Becky, that is... Um, really big for a, or rather the tree truck is really small for my 12 by 12 frame. So we are going to add a little to it. So let's move the tree truck up a little bit. And I purchased a single line font to use with this. And we are going to say, Merry Christmas. Now the name of the font is called Dear Agatha. And once that updates, you'll see that it is just a single line okay now we do need to let's see we're going to decrease the letter space and bring those together so that brought some of them let's go ahead and ungroup and we will move some of these by hand Now we will go ahead and group these back together. There's no welding or anything because these are um, single line. And don't be afraid to zoom in. Like I'm actually seeing a little bit of over there, lap there on my M and my R. So I need to just pay a little bit more attention to those. Because there's no welding, you just have to make sure that these line up even better than, than normal. Okay, there we go. So now let's group these together. And the same thing, you want to make sure that they are not bigger than the 5.75. Um, if I wanted to, I could split these up. So let's see what that would look like. We're just kind of going through a little bit of the designing process. So I may, I created a second copy. I'm going to ungroup. And I will group together just Christmas and just Mary. Get those situated up here. And then I can use my align to center those horizontally and then group those together. And now I can do it a little bit larger since they're stacked. If I do 5.75 there, let's do that. I think that looks better. And of course, you know, I could do so many different combinations. We can do Merry Christmas. 
We can do jingle all the way. So with either one of these, let's see, I'm going to group together, jingle all the way, and just make sure that I still have the 5.75 maximum. All right, so whichever way you decide to go, make it a little smaller. We'll just do five. Let's see, we can move Merry Christmas. We can get it out of the way. Now I want to center align these, and then I can align those with my 12 by 12 square. And what I wanna do, I'm going to mat this frame. Now, not only does that make it look um, more elegant, but um, it will make our project look larger without needing those larger styles of sheets. Okay, so let's see. So I was gonna group that together and then I ungrouped it, silly goose. And let's go ahead and center those together. Now I'm going to create another square and this one we're going to do, let's do eight by eight. Let's see, uh, move backwards and then we want to center all of these. And basically what I want to do, and we can zoom back in a little bit now, I want to make sure that this design is going to look appropriate in my mat um, and the mat being uh, brought down to an eight by eight definitely um, helps this look like the frame will be more full. And then I can tinker with this until I am happy with it. So I'm still going to make that a little smaller and we will, well, let's just group together again. We will center align these, group them, and then center these again. And we'll just keep going through this process until we're happy with how everything looks. Okay, so I really like that. I think it's a good looking file. Um, let's go ahead and we can get rid of these boxes now. The boxes were never for any other purpose than to size it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and select this. We can ungroup these. Now we don't wanna move them out of the way, but we wanna ungroup them temporarily because we need to select our colors. So I am going to select red for the tree truck. So I'm going to, instead of line type cut, I'm going to go to foil. I'm going to use a fine line and I'm going to switch the color to red foil. And then on my green, now I don't actually have green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch that to foil, fine, and we will leave that as gold. Well, I guess it's not actually gold. It is going to be rose gold. And I'm going to do the same with the text foil, fine, and rose gold. Now instead of fine, let's let's change that a minute. Let's go to bold, okay, and we will switch out those tips in between. Okay, once we have this set up, let's go ahead and we want group those together. And then um, I know that I said that that square didn't serve any purpose, but what we're actually going to do is I am going to cut a square that is 8.25 by 8.25. And let's see, we want to send to the back and I want to center align these. Okay, now my paper is actually going to be white. So I can change that on here if I want to. We're gonna select all these and choose attach and that way they will stay together, okay? So if we click over to make it, and what this is gonna do is it's going to walk me through each of these steps. All right, so I will be able to uh, put my foil down and um, I will have to pay attention on my alignment. All right, but that's uh, something that we're going to do. And so it gives me the steps up here. It's going to say foil fine, foil bold, and then cut. 
So it wants me to um, select my material size and I'm actually going to cheat. I'm going to do, I'm going to select nine by 12. My media is actually, um, it's a letter size sheet of cardstock. So just keep that in mind because, you know, we are doing this a little bit larger than our mat and that's okay. So I'm going to hit continue. And now it's time to go over to the maker. I am using a maker. Um, and we're going to select here, we're going to select the medium cardstock because that is the cardstock that I'm working with. And it's going to walk us through um, inserting the different tips and setting up the foil. And um, it will tell us each step of the way. So let's go ahead and switch over the camera and take a look and see how it works. Okay, so let's talk about this kit that I have here. It's a really nice kit. I'm very happy with it. Um, I actually tried to purchase this in person and the store was sold out. So I ordered this online. It's very well packaged. So this is my, um, the Cricut foil transfer kit. This is your uh, little blade and different widths. And then these are foil transfer sheets. This is a tool kit which I'm really glad that they included because unless you are a paper crafter, you may not have um, a spatula or scraper in your arsenal. And then if I take this out, I have a light grit map, which is also really important when working with paper and cardstock. And then I have a craft board sampler pack, which is pretty cool. And we will be working with some of this today. And of course, um, the packaging makes it ideal. I can just package it all back up until I'm ready to work with it. Um, but we are going to work with it today. So let's slide all of this out of the way. And let's talk about setting up our cutting mat and installing this foil tip, foil transfer kit tip. So what I have here is just a regular piece of cardstock. There's nothing special about this cardstock. And I'm going to go ahead and open this mat. Now remember when I told you that I cheated and I set up my material in Cricut Design Space as a 9 by 12? So what I want to do is just pay attention here and try to get this centered. And I left a little bit more room on this side and a little bit more room on this side. Now let's open this bad boy up. Okay, you have a little get started guide. You do have a few foil transfer sheet samplers in here. Now these are the same size as I have here for my uh, pink and red. Now this pack came with pink, red, and rose gold. So definitely a good pack. And then we have the housing and then each size tip. Now the tips are differentiated. I don't know how well you can see, there we go, between the stripes. So one stripe, two stripe, three stripe. So it's going to be fine, medium, and thick. Now our first project is going to be with the fine tip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to depress the plunger that's on the end. And these tips are magnetic. So I can simply slide it in there. You will feel it click into place and then release the plunger. Now that is basically all you need to do to be able to load and switch out these tips. We will load that in our machine in a minute. Let's go ahead and explore because I know that this kit comes with tape. I'll be honest with you, I was expecting a roll of tape, but I think what I have instead are strips of tape, which is unusual, but that's okay. We'll make it, we'll make it work. And these are all silver and gold. Okay, so that works out really well for me because I am going to use the regular gold with this project instead of the rose gold and I will save the rose gold for a different project. Oh, I'm going to hold out some strips. I do want to take very good care of these. So make sure that you store them in a safe place and I highly recommend putting them back in the plastic. And then from here, I need to pull out the red. Lucky for me, red was on the bottom. So there we go. Those are the two sheets that I'm going to work with today. Now we are going to, according to the software, use the red first. And it tells me basically that as long as, cause I'm looking at the software, as long as I cover halfway through my page and I cover 
from this two down to at least the five, that that is where my truck is going to be. So what I'll do is I will take one of these tape strips. Now I did hear that these are reusable and you can expect some static cling. So I'm going to go ahead and allow that to jump up there. And then I will reposition this right above the two and smooth it down. Now it is going to be important that we secure this tightly. So I'm going to grab the bottom and then I'm going to pull towards myself. You don't want to have any slack here. So if you're in doubt, peel up the tape and try again. I think we're good. And then I will do the same on each side. Just let it attach and then pull on it. Now I do want to secure these before I lose them because that's what I do. I think that's what most of us do. We like to lose things. And I'm going to bring over my maker. So let's open this bad boy up. And this is where I'm going to unload. Now we are using this um, tool B slot here. I'm gonna unload my regular blade. And I'm going to load my new foil tip. Secure that in place. I'm gonna go ahead and insert my mat. And then the software tells me that I can just click on my go button. All right, so now it's time for our big reveal. Now, I'm telling you and your software will tell you as well, absolutely whatever you do, do not unload your cutting mat in between these steps, okay? So we're gonna leave the cutting mat right where it is and we are going to peel off the tape that is attached to the foil. Now this piece of foil is done. This is uh, the only project we will use this on. Oh my gosh, look guys, it's so pretty. But if you had pieces that were unused, then you would be able to um, to save that. But this is, this is a done deal. There's not enough to save. So what we're doing here is we are going to, when I get this last piece of foil off, and remember you can save your tape for your next piece. And this is where we're going to bring over the gold. Now the gold, we are going to, let's see, let's look at our software. We are going to come up, let's see, to about the one and over to the edge of the truck. Okay, so I'm gonna take my tape off of this foil and now I can use it for this foil. So we're gonna do this the same way. I'm gonna start at the top then I will grab this piece and remember that we are attaching the tape and then we are pulling it tight. Same thing for side to side. If anybody is curious about this tape, I'm going to guess it, it feels to me um, pretty similar to washi tape. Okay, so it says remove the foil, confirm the foil transfer tip is still in here. We didn't move that. And then it says to put the next foil on the base and choose go. Okay, so we're finished with this part of the gold. And you notice I have this whole area down here. And the reason that I positioned it that way, and remember, do not remove your mat. I positioned it that way so that I can use that bottom piece for the words that are gonna go underneath our tree truck, okay? So I'm not gonna remove my tape this time. And I'm going to position this about right here. And I will do the same thing. Let's get, you're gonna see the same theme. I'm gonna tape it down and I'm gonna pull it tight. And I'll do from top to bottom. So this will be three times that we've used this tape. So one foil change, okay? And this time we are changing the tip. Now I put my tips back in uh, the packaging until I figure out where I want to keep them. So I'm going to pull out my medium tip. We will remove the fine tip and insert the medium tip. And again, I'm just doing this by depressing the little plunger there. Uh, this is all magnetic. You feel it snap into place. And now put it back. So it tells me once I 
replace my foil, which I did, replace my tip, which I did, and now I'm just going to hit go again. Okay, so this is interesting. I can't remove my mat to show you, but I actually did have a little tear right here. So we'll have to see um, how that part of the design compares to the rest. So I'm completely done with my foil. I probably will not save this tape. Oh, I do love that single line text though. So now what I wanna do is take my foil tip out and replace my regular fine tip blade. Now what this is going to do is it's going to cut that box that we're looking for that's going to correspond with the mat um, for my frame. So I'm going to hit go. Okay, so our project is done. All the way done, I can unload my mat. And I don't know how well you can see it in the video, but this beautiful metallic finish is amazing. And I'm so glad. It took a long time. Um, to do all these lines and whatnot, but I'm very happy with how it turned out. So let's go ahead and put it in the frame and we'll see how it looks. So, what did you think about our project? I personally really, really like it. I feel like it is never too early to go ahead and start decorating for Christmas, am I right? But even though I can see this is gonna be a really big thing for Christmas, Christmas gifts, Christmas decor, um, this is something that you're really gonna wanna keep around all year long, especially if you are a paper crafter or somebody who loves to make gifts or anything like that, this is a really nifty tool. So overall, if you're a vinyl person, you prefer vinyl, HTV, that sort of thing, maybe this won't be the thing for you uh, because you are limited on what you can apply it to, but for the rest of us who love to branch out and use cardstock and make all the pretty things, um, you know, I really am glad that I added this to my arsenal. So of course, if you have any questions about what we've done, make sure you put those in the comments down below and make sure you subscribe to the channel because we always have a lot of really neat ideas for you right around the corner. Thanks again and we'll see you next time.